Hey everyone! So today I have a fun playing with me video using some fun die cuts. But first off, I'm going to be in the seasonal happy planner, which if you guys didn't know, is my all-time favorite happy planner. I absolutely love this planner so much. I love all the detail that they put into it, and I love this month because it's got the pink and the white polka dots and then the yellow stripes down the middle. And I am taking out my pages just because I like to work on an even surface when I'm doing a big project, like on this particular spread I will be doing. So I'm just going to take that planner away, and now I have an even surface to work on. And for this planner spread, I am going to be using some die cuts, and I'm so excited. Some of these die cuts are just absolutely gorgeous. Most of them, I think the majority of the ones that I use in this spread are from the Oasis collection from Crate Paper, and it is amazing. I think I have like three sets of them because I love them so much. So now is kind of the hard part and the fun part. It's deciding which die cuts I'm going to put where. So what ones I'm going to put on what page and which ones will go better with the color scheme of this month or this particular week. So um, I kind of had fun doing this, looking through all the die cuts. And of course, I wanted to use every single one of them. All right, you guys. So I kind of jumped ahead a little bit, but um, I like to lay these all out before I glue them down just to kind of get a feel for how much room I'm going to have, either for pictures or for journaling. Now, like I said, I think I said before, this is my memory planner. I wanted to start getting into memory planning now that we're <laughs> officially in spring and I missed out on doing it for the winter, but I want to start bringing back my memory planning. I really enjoyed memory planning and I love adding pictures from my week to my planner spreads. So I'm just kind of cutting some pictures or some die cuts down to size to kind of fit a little bit better. And I'm just making sure that I have enough room for pictures and maybe even some journaling in this spread. And I did decide to take the cactus out. I don't know. I just love these, like, I don't know what kind of leaves these are. Are these just, like, palm tree leaves or something? Um, I really liked how those looked with this particular spread. And they matched that little, like, tag up there under TGIF. So I did decide to use some washi tape. And this is actually Amy Tangerine's washi tape. I think it goes perfectly with this, you know, color scheme that I'm going for. Also, it's got the, like, palm tree leaves or whatever kind of leaves they are. Um, it's got that in the washi tape, and so I thought it would match perfectly with this spread. Look how stinking cute this flamingo is. Absolutely love it. So again, I kind of kept everything laid down, and then I removed it once I decided to put washi behind it. Um, but I wanted to lay everything out first, and I think that's really what helped me, just kind of seeing how I wanted everything, because I tend to change my mind a little bit, and so I wanted to make sure that I loved everything before I glued it down, because that would have been awful to try to take it off. Alright, and I must have been, I must have not had my gift card, because I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut the washi tape, but that's okay. Um, that actually works on this a little bit better. So I did add it down at the bottom just a little bit. It's just popping out um, from underneath that leaf and then the flamingo. And I will add it to the left side of the page here in just a second. But I'm going to jump ahead um, and we're going to get into actually taping down the pictures or the die cuts. So as you guys can see in the background, I did add it to the left side of the page. But now I'm going to go in and I'm going to be gluing all these die cuts down. So I am using the planner glue. It is the planner bleh, planner glue pen, and this is by my Prima Planner. And I actually purchased this from Hobby Lobby. They also have it on a cherryontop.com. Oh my gosh, how long can I show a planner glue pen? Just trying to get the perfect shot, you guys. <laughs> but I love these. I seriously love these. They're so perfect for pictures, die cuts, any kind of scrapbooking that you guys need to do. Um, they are perfect. I highly recommend them, and they're fairly cheap. I think it was like $5.99 for a three-pack, and for as, as much as I've been using them for multiple things in my planners and for scrapbooking and my TNs, um, I definitely think that they're going to last a long time. And kind of right here, you guys can see, so this is a leaf, and it's this would be so almost impossible to use crafter's tape on something like this. You would go get the tape everywhere and it would stick to your pages and it'd be awful. But this is super easy. Look how easy it actually rolls off the page if you do get some on the page. 
but also, um, like I said, you kind of just use like the tip or the side and you will be able to get into all the little places that you need to to get this glued down. So enough with the planner glue pens, but I just can't say enough good things about these. They're awesome. Okay, so now I'm digging through my big box of die cuts. Um, I actually got this really cute box from Hobby Lobby, and it was only $1.99. And it fits all of them in there perfectly, but I've already kind of revamped my die cut collection, and I have a little bit of a bigger box from Hobby Lobby, that same style. I have that, and it's more for everything that's not seasonal or holiday, and this blue one has everything seasonal. So I just love to keep everything in one place. It's just easy for me, and it was easy to kind of go through all of them and find different die cuts to use for this spread. All right, so I'm kind of moving stuff around and cutting stuff down to the desired size that I want for this spread. Um, but again, using that glue pen just to place the die cuts down and keep them glued. So I love this one, it says the ray, and I'm gonna put the sunglasses on top because I think it looks really cute together. And also, it's my memory planner, so I found this cute memories tab, and I knew I wanted to put some kind of picture underneath it, so now I just have to remind myself to take a picture the first half of the week and put it underneath it. And here I'll put those sunglasses down. And I love how I put them on the ray. I think it's really cute how it ended up turning out. And as you guys could see, I did get some on my page, some of the glue, and I was able to just get it right off. So this spread would have been perfect just to leave it like this. You've got tons of room for all different kinds of pictures or whatever you want to add to this spread, a ton of space to journal for your memory planner. But I wanted to add a full box sticker and maybe a couple other little things. So I added this full box sticker that's white with gold polka dots and I think it's perfect because it brings out some of the gold that I have put in this spread. So I'm going in with my X-Acto knife because the full box sticker kind of went a little bit over the line. Um, normally that doesn't really bother me, but for this particular spread I kind of wanted it to be even. So you just use this to cut straight on that line and it makes for a perfect fit for that full box sticker. Going in with the quote sticker book. I like to go in with a quote sticker book kind of at the end because I like to add a fun quote or an inspirational quote 
to the spread, whether it's on both pages or multiple um, stickers. I just like them because they're fun. They're cute. They're bright. They're colorful. And I love that the, this entire sticker book has all different kinds of sizes. Uh, my favorite, though, are the circle stickers or the really long rectangular ones. I love those ones as well. Right, so I'm pointing out all the white space that I have because die cuts don't take up that much room and I really wanted to do this spread to kind of share with you guys different ways of styling your planner whether it's from nail tape or watercolor or die cuts you can I mean the, the possibilities are endless with your planner and I think that's the funnest part of it is you don't have to rush out and buy all this stuff you can use stuff that you already may have at your house all right, you guys, if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel for weekly planner videos. I try to put up two a week, but I'm kind of slacking on that. But I'll get back to it, I promise. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.